Hello everybody, it's me Sponge Knight, welcome back to the Spongy World Edit. We'll be continuing on with the next episode. Take away past me. Hello everyone, it's me, Adrian Z Qualava. And welcome back to the Spongy World. In the last episode we explored um hang on, let me see if I can get better view this. We explored uh, over there. We found an area where slender spawns. We had a very scary episode because of that. We found a nice snowy beach and a forest land. Now I've already tried to record this episode, as you can see there's already waypoints. Because I tried to record this episode and uh, I discovered that the audio was messed up. Like it was picking up the audio from my new webcam instead of from the microphone, so... Oops. In my defense I wouldn't have figured it out, there was no way to tell until I watched the video, so... Uh oh. <laughs> Which means I'm going to have to record this all over. But anyway, while we're up here, I'm going to show you guys that I made this. This is a oil refinery. And um, if we go into our recipes, I can show you how to make it. You just need the oil, which you make like this. With like water and coal. And then you just surround the oil with iron and you get the oil refinery. Now the way you use it is you have to have water flowing. It has to be flowing into the side of it, this side where like this weird wheel is and then it will create oil over time and I should probably equip this I'll go show you guys how it works so if we go down here that's not, not, not where my coal is although it does remind me I did make something which is the reason why I made this I made a chainsaw which does use oil this is the chainsaw from the same mod as the jackhammer and the way you make it is, uh, hang on, chain, well there's multiple chainsaws, we got the chainsaw from the so many weapons mod, and we got this chainsaw from this mod, and the way you make it is just with some sticks, redstone, and some iron. I'll show you how to use it in a minute, but first I want to show you guys how to use the oil refinery. And all you need to do is just put coal in it, and over time, and well how you tell it that it's working is just this will fill up on the side. If this doesn't fill up, you've, you've done it wrong. And basically it'll turn one coal into two oil. So yeah. So yeah, what's the point of this? It just say it just saves a lot of time, really. And yeah. If you're wondering why there's two lucky blocks outside, I I um, found some while exploring out there. Because I actually went around and killed some Endermen. And I happened to find these, so I thought I'd bring them back. That way I can open them up on camera. I should probably turn off my TV, I was watching He-Man. And I say, hey, 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 I say, hey, what's going on? Before the episode began, you know, go watch He-Man. Apparently I got a doggy charm. Okay, we don't need that, let's throw that away. I already have way too many of them. Oh yeah, let's go open this, these lucky blocks and I'll show you guys how to use this chainsaw. It kind of works like tree cafe, yeah. yeah. Let's see what we get. We get a chest with some really random items. Gunpowder, string, portal spawner, and the powder dust. Use this 13 and instant health potion. Pretty interesting. What like this one? Ooh, we got a diamond axe. Ooh, we got a broken lucky axe. I wonder if this is broken as the lucky sword is. It's got a fortune. Okay. Although the thing, a, a cool thing about the Tomahawk mod is the actual enchants does affect the Tomahawk. I don't know if any of these will help it, but you know, it's something to keep note of. So if you have a sharpness on your axe, then it'll actually apply that sharpness when you throw it, which is pretty neat. So yeah, anyway, as I, as I said earlier, you know, off camera I did kill some enemies. I got quite a few enderpearls, so we actually have quite a few. Well, so we're going to make the gravity gun. Right after I put this chest somewhere. Okay, well I don't really need a chest right now. I'll put it in here. Look how much wood I have. <laughs> Actually, I'm losing. Ch I'm, I'm, I'm getting sidetracked. I need to use this chainsaw. We can get started with the um, gravity gun in a minute. Actually, let me get all the stuff I need for the gravity gun. So let, let's see. How do we make it? Strong button. I've got so many buttons. Uh, what am I doing? I just put down a gun. Okay, now we could make the supercharged one or the normal one. The difference between them is the supercharge is a bit stronger in terms of how it is, while the regular one is just, well, the regular one. The regular one requires ender pearls, a diamond, two iron, glowstone, and obsidian. And I believe the supercharged one requires the an 
another star instead, yeah. But I think you can get the supercharged one if you get struck by lightning with the normal one, so there is that as well, which I'm probably going to do because I kind of want to save this another star for later. I could just spend it now just because why not, but I think, it could, but these are kind of hard to get hold of, so, um, you know, I'll save it. And then let's go out and try out chainsaw. Let's go look for a tree. But yeah, the way it works is kind of like tree capitator. Only it's a little bit different. You'll see what I mean. So let's, let's just break this. You have to have oil, mind you. So yeah, you just break the bottom. Like so. And then you just watch your magic. Yeah. <laughs> really loud. And there you go. Got all the woods so again. Yeah, it's kind of like tree capture. It takes out the entire tree more or less, very slowly. It's pretty cool actually. I don't think I've seen a mod do this before. It is what it is. Anyway, I'm gonna put this bucket in there for now. Get some water. Anyway, so we're gonna go get some glowstone, and I think uh, the dungeon nearby actually has them, like everywhere. Yeah. Like on the ceiling and stuff. Okay, I'm gonna need arrows. I just remember this this can mine it anyway. Does this have silk touch or something? Yeah. Yeah, silk touch and foretold. It's like that's illegal. You can't even have those in chance. No wonder it's broken. Anyway, so let's head home and we'll go make ourselves a gravity gun. I thought I saw a creeper. <laughs> well that matters. I'm so powerful it doesn't even matter if we see creepers. I think it was like this. I already, well, I already made it, so I know the recipe. So we'll get the diamond, we'll get two iron, and now we have the gravity gun. Half-Life reconfirmed. Okay, let's put these away. But yeah, now we can't really do too much with the gravity gun. Hang on, I'm like, kind of stuck here, okay. Can't really do too much with it. What you mainly can do is you can lift up blocks and entities, and you can like throw them around. So it's like the portal gun, in that you can grab things, but unlike the portal gun, you can actually like eat them away. Like if you don't want the blocks for whatever reason, <laughs> and you can throw these blocks at at, up at like mobs, and it will do damage to them. You can also throw mobs at mobs if you wanted to. This guy is still wearing a pumpkin because he thinks it's Halloween. But yeah, you can lift things up, you can move them around, you can have a blast. And yeah, and it looks cool from the third person, like you're like holding it like a gun, and it's like fully models and everything. <laughs> this is why I played in 1.6 before. I think there are new versions of this mod. I just wanted to play 1.6.4 because since I knew that it would work in this version, since I've seen other YouTubers use it, like Bobble and Mose, and now I get to use it. I have messed around with it in creative mode, but I haven't actually had it in a survival situation. So here. So here we are. Okay, what am I doing? I have better ways to drink. I found that milk is the best thing to drink because you can just, if you have cows, you can just like milk them and be like, mmm, delicious. Yeah. Okay, get away from here. You can push mobs back like that and it won't hurt them. It's when you pick them up and throw them into other mobs that it will hurt them. You can throw them into walls and hurt them as well, it's, but if you just push them into walls, it won't really do anything, which is pretty nice. So if you want to position mobs, you can. Okay, I'm actually going to keep my chainsaw on me. I, I actually, I might need it later, because it's this, because I want to make another thing. Now you're probably wondering about those waypoints over there. Basically, I went out, I went sailing to see what I could see, 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 and I found some land. So I'm going to show you guys what those lands are. Yeah. But first we're going to craft something. We're going to make a helm because we actually have a ship crater mod. That's the wrong button. If we go into here we'll put down helm. We'll see all the helmets but we'll see this weird block here called a helm. And I, I went too far. And again I double clicked. Okay. And to make that you need four wooden planks, four sticks and an iron. You're probably wondering what this is for. Well, I'll show you guys in a bit. Let's make it first. So we'll take it. 
<laughs> I made a dagger for a second there. <laughs> and, well, anyway, we get the helm. Now, this is actually how you make your own, like, boats. So, we're gonna go out and we're gonna look for... We're gonna look for a, a good place to build. I wanna get... Because I wanna go make my boat out of spruce wood. Because, you know, I don't, I don't need these trees. I have way too many of these trees. Let's go over here and... Get, um, some spruce wood. We'll just teleport over there. And we'll grab our chainsaw and get cutting. And there we go. We didn't get that much wood. Okay, there's like lots of saplings around there from like the mods. Nature reborn. I'll show you guys how to make a boat first. Because first you actually have to make your quote unquote boat. Or ship, whatever you want to call it. Okay, I wouldn't worry about reborn these trees. The nature reborn mod does that for me. Okay, there should be plenty of wood. So let's make ourselves a boat. Now, a good place to build it is probably somewhere like shallow. Not, not near ice. Because if you do it near ice, it kind of... It messes it up and you can get stuck. But yeah, and you have to be careful where you place it as well because you can actually get stuck yourself. Okay, this is a, this might be a good area to start building. So what we're going to do is we'll start it here. I'm already placing blocks out of and then we're going to make it fairly big. Now, um, you can't make it too big, I noticed. Like, if you, if you try and um, make your boat too big, it just won't work. You have, there, your boat has to be fairly small. And it has to be all connected. Like, if it's not all connected, then it, it just won't work. It's very, it's very picky. Okay, so let's just get building. Let like myself. Break this there, that there, this there. Break that, that, that. Okay, so we'll place a block there, there, to the side, to the other side, and we'll place one here. I'm like floating over there. Oh, I'm not sure I'm really bad. And then we can place the helm here. Okay, so now we got the um, boat in, in, from in, in what well, we got the boat built, we can now ride it. And to ride it, you just click the helm, and then, well, you're moving. <laughs> you can drive your boat, it's pretty amazing. You can sail the seven seas, Wind Waker style. And yeah. But yeah, if your boat is too big, like if you try and try and do the helm because you can use the helm on other things like if you really wanted to like you could probably ride something like this like this little raft here you can um <laughs> you, you, you can do this like you can ride around on this if you really wanted to Actually, I think I accidentally connected it because of this chest. We'll, pick, we'll take this chest off, I guess. Let's make sure none of this is touching my boat. Nope, none of it's touching my boat. It has to be, if, it's, if stuff is directly touching your boat, it will, sometimes it will come with you. But if you're like a little bit away from it, like if it's only the corners touching, like here, it's fine. Like, you know, like this. Like I can get in this and I can probably move away and be good. And yeah, and I have it set so I can press um, right the right arrow key to align my ship, which also brings it to a stop. You can also press. I also made it so I can press left to put on the brakes, which just slows it down as well. That's useful if you're going too fast and you want to quickly brake. Yeah. I've assigned it to those keys, by the way. You can change them as you please. Like I can be like, oh, I'm gonna crash. Let me just slow down. Ow. <laughs> you got to be careful when getting off there, it can hurt. Okay, where was that? Oh, a lily pad. Mm, that's good. Okay, there's like a grave zone here. But yeah, we can't actually ride this, unfortunately. Ah! Okay, 
Okay, put that there. I'm gonna grab this. This is something I did um, originally, and I just grab this ladder. Because you can put um, special kind of blocks in there. Like you can put like chests and ladders, and even beds. You can put a lot of blocks types on this. Uh, you gotta be careful there, because you can get stuck. Okay, I was trying to put it on the back so you can like get on the boat. But yeah, it will come with you. Like if I mount it and then go back here, the ladder is still there. I can do the same with the chest. Like I can have like a bit of storage and I can be like right there. I don't think you can interact with it, but yeah, this could be, a, I guess, a really good way to transfer your items if it works. Hang on, let's try that actually. Okay, let's put something I don't really care about like, in here, just like these bones for example. Then we can get in, sail for a bit, we can stop and get out and our bones are still there. So yeah, so you can, I guess you could use it as a way to transfer items if you really wanted to. If you're in a very vast ocean world like this, it actually is a pretty good idea. And this isn't the only thing you've made with this mod, you can also make hot air balloons. And I'm gonna show you guys these this new man this new lands in the graveyard over here. You see sharks. Don't worry about them, they they can't hurt you while you're on the boat. And as you can see this goes pretty fast, like it's really quick. Okay. Over here is where a village is, a normal Minecraft village. I thought I'd mark this because it looks like there's actually quite a bit of land here. Some sharks over there. And over here I found the graveyard. So yeah, if we like, if you look up there you can actually kind of see it. Um, actually, let, let's move back a bit so we can like... Okay, that's a line. Hello? Oh no, Minecraft crash! Okay, we're on water. Where'd that boat go? Okay, well, we lost our boat. <laughs> I guess that can happen. <laughs> it's okay, I, I'm not... It's okay, I can, I can just build another one. They're pretty cheap. You can make them out of any materials as well, like you don't have to use specifically what the hell is going on over here? Oh, ghost pirates, okay. <laughs> but yeah, here um, I found the graveyard and I thought, you know, I'd mark it away I mark a waypoint close to it so we can come check this out another time. Okay, let's go check out this structure over here. Get, get stuck in the sand. You cannibals. See what's in here. We got shells, yay. I do like myself some shells. Coral cool helmet, that's actually kind of nice. Okay, we'll put all this in here. Okay, we're, <laughs> we're in a bad helmet so we can replace it instantly. But yeah, now um, what, what's in the graveyard, I'll actually tell you guys, you can actually kind of see it. Over there you can see that building and what that building is, is basically it's the start of, a, of like a massive really deep dungeon. You can actually kind of see it underwater over there. Like that, like it's a really huge like complex dungeon with many dead ends. It's like, it's like Legend of the Older almost. <laughs> Yeah, let's go see if we can find that boat. Because it's possible that it might have just lagged behind somewhere over that way. In which case we could probably go find it. Let's throw these away for now. Put that away. I did make a workbench backpack. So what we can do is we can like... We can actually craft things. So in this case I'm just going to craft a quick boat so we can like sail. There are other boat mods I have, so there are other ways to sail because I thought I'd have multiple options. Okay, yeah, it looks like my boat is indeed gone. Oh well, it, it, it's fine. <laughs> 
I can just uh, I can probably just build another one. The resources isn't that expensive. It's just I, I mean I made that very quickly. As you guys saw, I didn't exactly grow attached to it or name it. <laughs> I guess that's something to keep in mind though. Try not to go too quick of it, or else it might indeed crash the game and you lose your boat. Well, I guess that's why people have backups. <laughs> Which is also why I had a backup for this episode, in case something bad happened, I can just try it over. Pretty sure this is a load from a backup. But yeah, we can head home still, because we, we still have a way to tra travel. Traveling style. It's not the best way to travel, but it's a cool way. There's apparently a planet somewhere around there. Like up there. Yeah, we'll get to those eventually. I've kind of been ignoring them. For the most part, just because... Um, not, not, because I, not because I don't want to do them, but because it's pretty interesting when you do go there. It almost looks like it's made of sand. There is another oil type, by the way, you may have noticed, actually. Let me go... Look for that. You may notice that there's crude oil. And I think this is to a different mod. That's a part of the ATV mod. I wonder if we'll make anything from that mod yet. We've got so many vehicle mods. So many ways to get around. Okay. Oh, by the way, I went back to the starter zone and got back the blessing of the scale so I can see my traps again. And that's the end of this part of the episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Boop!